me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody on the, one of the Facebook pages I'm a member of asked me where I got my file for this family tree. This isn't actually a family tree. It was made for Woodcraft in Austin, Texas. And it's got leaves of the employees with their years of service. But it could very well be used for a family tree. And I'm going to, after I'm through with this video, I will... Uh, basically say these two trees and these leaves on a file and share it with my Facebook friends. The, uh, the leaves are intentionally jagged. Uh, I did that on purpose to kind of make them look more like leaves. But I, I also thought instead of just, so my laser right now is uh, 24 by 18, so about as big as I can make a tree is about 17 inches. Now, this particular tree was made out of all walnut. And if you can imagine, the piece was 16 inches across. And you can't really get walnut 16 inches across. This piece was actually uh, glued together out of two pieces. And then I'm a, mainly a woodworker, so I've got the ability and the tools to make wood like this. But you could make it out of plywood and, and then just stain it would be your easiest. You know, you could use eighth inch plywood. It would cut real easily. This is actually quarter inch solid walnut. Um, you could try, uh, they sell walnut veneer plywood in um, quarter inch, but it'd be very difficult if you were gonna do the limbs, it'd be very difficult to sand away the burn residue um, without taking the veneer off because the veneer is really, really thin. But you could try maybe putting a varnish or a lacquer or some sort of sealant and then run this and then you could wipe it off with a rag. So you could do it with plywood. This one is, just happens to be solid wood. But instead of just uh, sharing the file, I thought I'd show how I did it. I could not find this exact tree that I did. And here's one I just did and it, it came out really well. Uh, this is the cutout version. But I'm going to show you a couple of problems you would have when you get a tree off. And I'm going to work on this real small, but I'm going to zoom in. This is just a clip art. And if you can see, it's terrible. Wouldn't cut out with a flip. And you can't, you couldn't cut it out because you can't really do anything with it. But if you'll go to bitmaps, convert it to a bitmap, convert it to a black and white. And it already looks better. Then I'm going to make a duplicate and just move the duplicate over here. Then, whoop, then you're going to trace this. And since it is clip art, and I use clip art mainly almost for everything now, it seems to work the best for me. So I'm going to go outline trace clip art. So just go down to bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and it's going to trace it. Now with this particular tree, it's got a few problems in the trace and then just hit okay. Now I'm gonna, your trace is normally always, or it is for me, always on top. So here we got the top version. It's already really good, but you can see it's got some problems and I'll show you because go over to your box and left click, no fill with your mouse, right click red fill or red outline. And I always draw in hairline, so it's a hairline. Now you can see it's got a, a rectangle around it. So go to arrange, ungroup all, and then just start erasing these rectangles. And then you can get rid of this bottom section. And the main reason I'm doing this is to show people how you can manipulate this and you can get rid of these nodes. And I'm not gonna take a lot of time to clean it up a lot, but that doesn't look half bad. And in a way, if you do it yourself, then it's kind of your tree. Now, remember we had a rectangle around it, so we can just take away these two nodes, get away, get rid of these square parts. Got one more over here. Then I would suggest, in a laser, this would look pretty good. If you're a plasma cutter, this isn't gonna come, come out with a flip. And I can already see we've got some trash in the middle, and I'll show you how to get rid of that in just a second. Because we're all grouped together, and basically we had double lines. So we're good to go now. I just moved it out of the way. But I would, 
maybe just to see what it looked like, I would grab your shape tool and just lasso it all. Go up here and just hit the number 20. That's going to take a lot of notes. Then you can go and just kind of look through it and go, well, I don't really like that sharpness of that node, so just put it up there. That kind of looks like a right angle. Get rid of that. And just go through, and if you see some nodes that are double nodes, like these are way too close together, it's going to cut it away. So you can do two things. You can just grab your arrow key and, and do that. I don't like sharp corners, so you could do that. But anyway, I'm going to save this tree. Well, I'm going to save both trees, and then you can kind of pick. The one with the limbs is pretty unique. It took me a little time to draw the limbs in there. And, but it adds to the detail, but I'm going to have both of them on there. I'm going to save it in Corel X3 so more people can use it. And then you can just use the leaves. You might have to scale your leaves to what you want, but that's very easily done. And you can see their hairline. They're in black, but you can very easily, I think I'll change them to red before I save the file. And just keep in mind, once you've got a leaf the size you want, then you can always duplicate the leaf and then mirror it the other way because you don't want all your leaves going the same direction on the tree. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.